Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're going to implement WebView in Android application. A WebView is just like a browser that we use for rendering web page in any specific address. Or we can load the XML file directly into that. For example, we're gonna publish a term of service or a privacy policies to show to your user or something like that. So to do this today, we're going to display a website in our app and we can navigate uh, through this site like this that we can go backward by pressing this back button even we can navigate history back and forth additionally we gonna handle error request which is shown uh, clear text not permit like this okay so without further ado let's get started this now we're gonna create an empty android project i gonna call this uh, web view app and then we're gonna click finish button now our code and layout were generated so then let's set up our main activity layout which is uh, we're gonna place in the web view control into our application and here we're gonna remove this default tech view because we don't want to display that and then we're gonna implement web view we're gonna set up a width and height to match parent to fill up the screen. And we have to set the ID to our web view too. Because this ID is important to call out when we use in a Java code for reference control by this ID. Okay, now we have done on the layout. So let's go to the main activity in the Java class file. So first we define the private web view variables over here. Because we're gonna use the object later on in another method. So then on create method, we're gonna instantiate the web view by reference by ID. And the ID is web view. Okay, next we're gonna call a web view dot load URL to navigate any web page. And then let's say the https ebay.com. And this line of code is just act like we type web address in the address bar in a browser and we hit enter and now the problem is when we request to the web address we need the internet connection to access the website even if we already connect to the wi-fi but in android we would not allow our apps access internet connection unless we set the permission so we have to set the internet permission let's go to the manifest file which is located in here and we're gonna put this element uses permission internet okay now we have internet connection and so run this application to make sure this work now we can see that the problem is open another browser instead of loading the website in our app to prevent these things happened we're gonna call a method set web view client and then we put the new instance web view client inside that parenthesis and this class provides the override method to let us check in something with uh, those method but we don't need to do so otherwise uh, some websites is need a javascript for rendering the web page and if we don't allow a javascript execute the page may not visible or properly display so to do this we gonna get setting to enable JavaScript execute. We gonna call uh, web view dot get setting dot set JavaScript enable, and the parameter we gonna set is to true. Now let's run again. We gonna see that website is load in our app as expect. So now for the next step, we're gonna handle how we navigate back and forth in the history browser. For example, when we click any links inside this, that's gonna load to another page, which is mean it has a history, which is the home page. So when we click the back button, we're gonna go back to the previous page. To do this, we're gonna override a method's back press. And then we're gonna check if 
objects review is can go back and then we allow to go back and else we're gonna exist the application by saying uh, super dot on back press and here we call the super class methods which is perform exist the app okay so run test app again Now we're gonna click here and then we're gonna click back button. It's gonna go back to history. Then it's no more history. If I click once again, that's gonna exist the app. And now we have done in some part of it. It means in some case it would not allow to access the web page. For example, if we change the URL links to the HTTP without S. So when we request to the web in Android 9, that would produce an error. Now we can see here the page is not load successful and produce the error clear text is not permitted. And this because of the security reason. So now to solve these problems, we're gonna open up the manifest file and we're gonna add attribute uh, uses clear text traffic and the value is gonna be true because by default in android 9 the value is false and this problem is not really means only the web view but whenever we make a network request to the internet like making api request we have to add this attribute or we can change to the https okay so let's run one more time Now our app is working fine, even we change to HTTPS or HTTP. For the next tutorial, we're going to talk about how we pass the clicking link from the web view to the native method in a Java class for extract the data. So I hope this helped you out to setting up the simple web view. So don't forget to subscribe for more interesting video and see you guys in the next tutorial.